Whether you're looking to develop your methods of persuasion or trying to build resistance to cunning sales tactics, the contrast principle may be something you want to think about. This principle affects the way in which we perceive two or more different things when they're presented next to each other or shown one after another. Essentially, the difference between them is exaggerated. If it's a warm day and you go from a cool, air-conditioned office out into the afternoon sun, the temperature outdoors will actually feel much hotter than it really is because you've immediately gone from cold to hot. Now, this sounds obvious, but we very often make inaccurate judgments in a variety of situations due to this contrast principle. It's a common technique often used in sales. If your real estate agent shows you around a nice, suitably priced property, then you're likely to judge its worth in a reasonable manner. You'll notice its pros and cons and no doubt wish to look at several other properties before making any offers. However, if the estate agent uses the contrast principle, he may intentionally show you some rundown, overpriced properties first before coming to the intended house he wants to sell you. This will drastically change your perception of the last property and give the impression that both the quality and price are much more desirable than they really are. This illusion of attractiveness is even true when it comes to people. If you meet an average, everyday looking individual alone, then you'll see their physical appearance as it really is. But if surrounded by stunning models, then all of a sudden your perception becomes skewed and that individual will appear much less attractive. This rule of contrast is frequently utilized when pricing products and increasing sales. In this day and age, we like to think we're wise to sales techniques and not so easily deceived. But there are subtle ways that the contrast principle can be exploited, swaying our decisions and making us reach into our pockets time and time again. Let's say you're buying a new car. You have every intention of buying this new ride and you've done your research chosen the model you want, and you're excited to hit the showrooms. After speaking to the salesman for some time and negotiating the price, you commit to a purchase and this is where his strategy comes into play. If you've just committed to spending 20, 30 or 40 grand on a new car, then the salesman can use the contrast principle to his advantage. He suggests that for a few extra bucks, you can get the upgraded sound system, knowing full well that by juxtaposing this extra cost against the full price of a car will make it look negligible in comparison. So you think to yourself, why not? And decide to go for it. But he's not finished yet. By separately mentioning what appear to be little added extras, you end up committing to the upgraded alloy wheels and of course, for a few extra notes, you really should get the leather interior as well. All of these additions appear much smaller than they really are because you've literally just accepted the outlay for an expensive car purchase. It's only when you get home and the excitement has worn off that you realize all those little supplementary add-ons have suddenly accumulated to a big grand total, pushing you way over and above what you intended to spend. It's used everywhere. Think about when you've purchased a new phone or a computer and then the retailer mentions the extended warranty, protective case and all sorts of other accessories. Most of us like to think we see things with a level head, analysing situations and not so naive to fall for these subtle tricks. But this is just one of many psychological behaviours that can be manipulated. I'm sure you've seen shops and websites where it seems like there's always some kind of sale going on. Nothing ever seems to be sold at the original retail price. Again, using the contrast principle, we see huge savings regardless of the actual price we end up paying and assume we're buying a higher price item for a steal. This principle is well established in the field of psychophysics and applies to all sorts of perceptions. It can even be used when giving information such as breaking bad news or coming up with seemingly great ideas. Picture the scene. You walk into a meeting and you present an average idea to your boss where he sees your proposal for exactly what it is, an average idea. However, if your colleagues have been presenting him with a run of terrible suggestions beforehand, then suddenly your mediocre idea is inflated to something far worthier and you become the star of the day. 
This principle is used in many industries and various different situations. If you're not familiar with this tactic, you can easily fall victim to the cunning ploy without even thinking about it. So maybe it's worth considering the next time you're out shopping, dealing with sales reps, or perhaps when you yourself are trying to persuade people to your own way of thinking. If you enjoyed this video, then it'd be great if you can smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon, helping you change the way you think. Thanks for watching guys, take care and I'll see you next time.